Girls, remember, master cubes will make the cake prettier and tastier. Uh, oh, excuse me, I need to talk to someone. I'm gonna step away for a second, and you guys, um, hang in there. <gasps> oh yeah, there's a cake in here. <gasps> That's right, <laughs> Sophia, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Why should I tell you about mastic when I can eat it? Wow! All the square pieces are mine. And the triangular ones are mine! Hmm. I'll have the round ones for myself, I guess. What are you doing? Um, um, um. This is a study cake! How are we gonna study now? Mm -hmm. Oh, shame on you! I'll teach you how to behave! Challenge thee! <gasps> What's about to happen? This looks like a lot of fun! Oh well, let's start the challenge with some… Yes. Fried eggs! Don't forget your geometric shapes! Samantha has square, Jane has a triangular one, and Sophie is making round eggs! Give it your best shot! Will do. There's certainly nothing difficult about making some eggs. And to make it in the shape you want, you just have to crack an egg into a bread mold. And I'm going to do something more interesting than the usual yes. eggs. I'm going to make a dessert. For that, I will need Greek yogurt <laughs> and some canned peaches. Oh, I don't understand how you guys open it. I think I need some help. No, 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 no. I can't do it. What's the big deal? One second, and it's done. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm. The peaches are unreal. They're so delicious. I think Chef Bob will definitely love my dessert. Jane, why are you just sitting there? Hey, what? Samantha's on the phone. She's gonna burn the whole thing. I really am too slow, but that's okay. I'll use the foil from a candy bar. <laughs> I'll separate the egg whites and yolks. Then I'm gonna use some syringes to squeeze them into the triangular molds. <laughs> I made them out of foil. All that's left to do is bake the whole thing. Let's wait a little and… Ta-da! It's done! It's an egg pyramid! Oh, Samantha, stop talking! You're making the whole room stick of burnt stuff! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. I think it's still delicious. What? I doubt it. You can't eat something like that at all. I won't even try that. Uh-oh. The triangular fried eggs look unusual, though. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> that leaves Sophia's fried eggs. Except… Hmm. It's a cheat. It's a dessert. Mm -hmm. That's quite tolerable, by the way. I like the triangular eggs better. Oh, yes! I tried so hard! <laughs> hey! What? Girls, yes. this time you have to make a pizza. I realize it will be a challenge to make it in different shapes, but you have to try. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's start with a dough. A well-kneaded dough is half the success. I think Chef Bob will definitely love my skills. I can make dough just fine. Look at that! Rolling it out. And now time for some ketchup. Smearing it all over. Then we're grating some cheese right on top there. As much as possible. And of course, we can't forget about pepperoni. Pizza is not a pizza without it. And let's wait for it to bake. Girls, how are you doing? Oh, so, so. The dough turns out to be extremely difficult to make. Yes! Okay, now we need some ketchup and some pepperoni. 
Actually, I'm gonna use some rolls as toppings. Cool. Well, and of course some cheese. Uh, are you jealous already? It'll be a masterpiece. Mm. Oh, yes? Oh, uh, are you girls done? I'm running out of time! Look, yeah. since there's so much fruit, why don't I make a fruit pizza? It's not something anyone else would think of. Besides, ripe fruit is always delicious. We just need to decorate a piece of watermelon with slices of berries, other fruits. It's turning out very appetizing. I myself would not review such a delicious and healthy pizza. Meanwhile, my roll pizza is ready too. Chef, it's time to decide who's won this time. I guess we'll start with this fruity wonder. Not gonna lie, I really like it. It's hard to mess with fruit. Samantha, what did you make that? Ow, wait, what? Rolls plus pizza? Gross! There is a reason these goodies are eaten separately and not together. That leaves the feast pizza. Apparently the classic version. Oh, this is delicious. I think it's the classics that will be the winner tonight. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. I want something a little more serious. I think a sandwich would be perfect. Okay. Once again, let me remind you not to forget the forms. Your time is on. Easy. What could be better than a regular sandwich? First, we make our toasts. Yes! Next, we need to place all the necessary elements inside. Some lettuce, some bologna cheese, and of course, some sauces. Well, here's our sandwich. It's ready. Boring. I'm going to try to make a Mexican-style sandwich. For this, I will take a regular tortilla. I need some cucumbers. Uh-uh. Some cheese, of course. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got it all in the right shapes. Cool. Look how I'm rubbing it all up. There is also fish inside, as you can see. <laughs> and some lettuce leaf for beautiful serving. Nice. Ta da! And I'm going to make a sweet sandwich. Instead of bread, there will be sweet buds. Well, those are pancakes, actually. And some Nutella, of course. That's not all. Additionally, I will put some banana. I just love bananas. And marshmallows. Wow! <laughs> and some maple syrup on top. Let's also sprinkle it with Skittles. They'll make it even better. Well, we're ready. Interesting. Let's start with a classic sandwich. Hmm. Oh, okay. Samantha, well done. It turned out delicious. Now, Sophia. Oh, it's too <sighs> sweet. Jane has come up with an interesting solution. Let's try her Mexican-style sandwich. Mm. Oh, very good. I think this is our winner tonight. Yes. Congratulations! Oh, no. Don't be sad. You'll be lucky next time. Mm -hmm. New Year's Eve is coming up, so make a kooky like this. Okay. Again, don't forget the geometric shapes. Yes. It's very important. I already know what I'm going to make. First, I need some cheese that needs to be grated. It's a cookie. Next, I'm going to add egg and flour to the cheese. But that's not all. We can't do without milk either. After that, we need to roll it out. And let's cut out some triangular shapes. See? Does it remind you of something? Of course, those are cheese slices. We put them on some parchment and send it into the oven to bake. Oh, I, I got a little carried away. I just really love Nutella. Okay, 
Let's do this, mix it all up. And spread this mixture into molds. Now I'm going to set it into the oven. Nice. Simple, but delicious. <laughs> oh, it's too simple. It makes me want to make something much more out of the ordinary. Here's the recipe from the book. First, I need to get a pink cookie mix. Wow! This can be done with a regular dye. It's not really dough. It freezes in the refrigerator. Not in the oven. Next, I shape it and… Let's decorate it with some mascarpone cheese. And raspberries. Next, I roll it up like that. It looks like dumplings. And you get cookies with filling. <laughs> they need to be dusted with some powdered sugar and put in the fridge. <laughs> well, my cheesecakes are ready too. Oh, well, they're not cheesecakes. Mm. Just cookies sliced as cheese. Oh. What is going on? I don't think my plan worked. Okay. Let's do something else. We've got the Milka cookies. They sure are delicious. I'm done too. Well, well, well. The pink cookies look unusual. Let's try them. Hmm. Sophia, well done. Hmm. Here's Jane cheese cookies. Uh -oh. No. Oh, they didn't turn out so well. But mm -hmm. I praise you for trying anyway. Samantha, you amaze me. It's like the cookies are from Milka. Oh, very tasty. You're the winner. <gasps> I knew you guys would love my cookies. 